is a presentation of TFNN. The Wall Street Money Hour with your host, Peter Bruno. Call 1-877-927-6648 to talk with Peter live. Now, Peter Bruno. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno, and this is an inaugural program that's starting today. And I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy to join the extreme group of other TV and, and hosts. It's important to note at the very beginning that all the hosts are using their own form of research analysis and and uh, uh, research, which may be different from all others. However, it is possible that we can all come up with the same uh, answer or the same target formats at the same time. Uh, my research is original and uh, proprietary, and I've been using it for 50 years. And to my knowledge, I don't know of anyone that is using anything similar to what I've been using. So. Uh, that makes us uh, unique in this particular program. Uh, what I like to do at the at the outset, if those of you have not uh, heard my interview or our interview with uh, Tom on Friday, uh, introducing uh, this program, is just to review a little bit <clears throat> how we came up with uh, the name cycle analysis and how we came up with this uh, uh, this type of research that we we do. Uh, the key here is uh, going back to a uh, teenager when uh, there used to be a weatherman on, uh, I think, NBC television. Uh, I remember him because he had a handlebar mustache. <laughs> and uh, and uh, he, would, uh, he would say, let's say, on the night before the uh, weekend that the temperature the following day would be sunny, 90 degrees. And I would be there Saturday morning with my towel ready to go to the beach. And uh, suddenly it would be thunderstorms. And I would say to myself, how can these people be so wrong? And uh, these meteorologists had a very, very bad record back at that time. And I'm going back maybe, maybe 50 years. And I said, I know they're using patterns and using that cold fronts and hot fronts and weather uh, uh, information to make their forecast. But if I can take the Dow Jones Industrial Average and all the stocks, and that's the oldest uh, indicator that we had at that time, and put it into a computerized format where I can determine the directional movement up or down of stocks within the Dow, then I would be able to be on the right side of the market when I'm investing. Uh, and out of the market when I don't want to invest. And that's how uh, this whole thing was created. And over over the years, uh, with the help of technology, we really were able to uh, fine tune uh, our work as well as these meteorologists that are uh, unbelievable, the way they are able to forecast uh, weather patterns and hurricanes and uh, the, the, you know, the, the, when the sun's coming out or when it's going to rain. And I had mentioned in the interview that I would be in a, in a, in a car with my wife, and my wife would be looking at her, her iPhone on the Weather Channel or Weather app, and she said, we better get home because it's going to thunder shower in 15 minutes. And sure enough, no sooner do we get home, uh, the skies open up and there's a thunder shower. So these meteorologists that have done very, very well over these years with uh, the help of technology, and so do we. Uh, now we're able to determine, uh, number one, what is the market climate in, in an individual stock or an index or an indice as to whether the market or index or stock are in an uptrend or a downtrend. And we're able to use different time frames, which, which tell us whether the long term is up, but the long term is down, and even to fine tune it to a point if we wanted to uh, trade that particular stock or index. 
Now, the key, I believe, is to identify firsthand if the long-term cycle is up or down. And if the long-term cycle is up, well, it kind of gives you some extra confidence that the market should, or that index or that stock should continue to move up. However, if the long-term is down, then it's a little frightening that you know that the market or stock would be moving down over a period of time. Now, I like to describe it as an uptrend, having a three step up and two steps down and a down trend the market has three steps down and two steps up that means that uh even though it's a long term down in in the particular stock or index it doesn't mean that you're not going to have the two steps up which you're able to trade and make money and after all the objective of this program and every program Hosted on TFNN is to make money for uh, the viewers and the and the uh, people watching. So the key here is what's the market climate at this particular point, and the market climate at this point is down. The long-term cycles are down. That doesn't mean we can't have uh, rallies within a down market uh, where you can make money using the shorter-term cycles. However. You know, in the long term, the markets are going to continue to move down and it's going to be kind of frightening and uh, uh, risk adverse. Uh, ideally, if you can identify if markets are, are, moving up, uh, are moving up, then at least you know that even if you made a mistake, uh, the market's going to bail you out. So if markets are moving up, you, you can't fall asleep because following an uptrend market would be two steps down and the two steps down are going to either eliminate your profits or uh, you know give you an opportunity to uh, buy at lower prices so our strategy in a down moving market and I have to tell you this that all these indices uh, and most of these leading stocks that have been leading the market over the last couple of years are in a downtrend Okay, so the key is to develop a strategy where uh, you can buy good quality stocks at low prices rather than pay high. There's two ways of making money in the market. Some people, they like to buy high in the hope of selling higher. Uh, other people, like to, myself included, like to buy low and sell high. So my strategy is based on looking at our short-term cycles that are oversold, looking for an opportunity to buy at lower lower prices when, when stocks or, or indices are, are oversold. Now, the idea here, if you can see my screen, I think you may have seen my screen, uh, I have the S&P 500, which is based on a Bruno oscillator and a Bruno oscillator, if you can see, uh, going back to March, had a bottom, uh, had a bottom in the market, and then it moved up, uh, basically, uh, uh, you know, to the 4200, and it came down to 4100, and then back up to 4400. We'll be right back after this break. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And as we were stating and showing before the, the break, was the Bruno Oscillator. And the Bruno Oscillator, which is a daily oscillator, is showing us that back in uh, May of 2023, uh, the S&P was at 4,100. And then after some, some updating, uh, and breakouts, it moved up to as high as uh, uh, 4455, and then it reached the highest point of 4575. Uh, now, at that point, the Bruno oscillator reached resistance because the the channel shows resistance and support based on the particular index. So, at that resistance level, you, we would sell or recommend a sale. And sure enough, it went from there down to a low here of 43.52. And then from that low of 50, 50, 43.52, uh, it hit support, and then support moved up to uh, 45.42. And then that was it. And then it started to move down after it reached uh, resistance. And now it is where we are, where we are today. Now, you're going to find this very difficult to believe, uh, so do I, because in every textbook that I've ever looked at or every professional trader or investor uh, at, uh, was giving advice about the overall markets, the number one rule, that I never heard anyone tell it differently except myself, <laughs> is that never add to a losing position. And that's a true statement. Never add to a losing position because you never know if that low is the low of that particular stock or if it's going to go all the way, all the way down. Now, the beauty of this oscillator is that it tends to hold the support that it moves down to. So therefore, it's not necessary to use the stock order because you're not concerned about the stock falling out of bed and having a massive loss. Uh, if we go back to where we were here, okay, this, the, uh, the stock uh, uh, or the S&P 500 reached support, got down to support from, from the previous high, 
Okay, and then it moved up to resistance, down to support, up to resistance, down to support, and up to resistance, down to support. Well, we're at support now, and you can see that that the the support level that we created uh, is pretty much going to hold the low of the market. It's not going to be exactly that it can't go down another half a point to another point. However, it's pretty unlikely that it's going to just fall out of bed and go, go all the way down without uh, the support holding. So that's a great uh, uh, weapon to have on your side uh, of, uh, of trading or, or investing. Now here we were looking at the S&P 500. Let's take a look at Apple. Well, Apple looks the same way. I kept on moving up, okay, through a major support level, which was past 195 up here, okay, and then suddenly it fell out of bed and it came all the way down to support of 171. You can see support held, and after support held, it moved back up to resistance of 189 and then came all the way back down to where we are now of support. Okay, so basically, even though the long-term cycle for Apple is down along with all these other stocks that I've listed on this, on this page, you can still make money by trading Apple when the cycles start to move up. Now, in addition to this daily cycle, we have shorter term cycles and the shorter term cycles will tell us exactly how far down Apple could go. And in this particular case, uh, we see that Apple can get down to one, uh, 167. So here, if we're at 170.63, we have another three points to go down. So what we would be doing in the Wall Street Money Letter is that we have a, 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 a chart or mechanical that tells you whether the stock is, well, let me show you up, up here. Uh, see if I can bring it over to my screen. Uh, hopefully you can see that. We have uh, the symbol, the long-term cycle, when this particular case is down, okay? Minimum upside target doesn't do anything for us here. The minimum downside target will give us a price. Uh, here is 2152. The short term oversold support level would be 21. That's where you would try to place your orders. And then the short term overbought, which is not the case here, uh, would be would be less blank. And then we have a trading strategy. And a trading strategy, what I like to do is knowing that these 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 numbers and that we're able to uh, uh, calculate the target prices for a, for the day. Uh, we're able to say, okay, here are three three possible prices that the stock can move down to. So rather than just place an order to buy at one price, we like to place an order to buy at three different prices. And in this particular example, we're suggesting that you buy. One third of your order at 21.33, another third at 21 even, and another trade at 20.77. So it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, you're going to get all three orders, but pretty much the 21.33 would be the top order that most likely you would at least get a minimum of that. Now, the greatest advantage that we all have as traders and or investors is that most brokerage firms are not charging any commission. So you don't have to own 100 shares of stock. You can buy 10 shares of stock at one price, 10 shares of stock at another price, 10 shares of stock at another price, and suddenly you have 30 shares of stock if they're all executed on that day. <clears throat> Excuse me. The, uh, the key is that on this program, because we're in an over, over, overall down trending market for all indices and stocks is to <clears throat> is to do a dollar cost averaging approach to investing and trading in order to build a portfolio. 
Okay, so in other words, if we place an order to buy XYZ and we are executed in those three price limits, the following day, as long as the security is oversold, we create new price targets for the following day. And I can assure you that no price targets for today are going to be the same price targets for tomorrow. They all change. At four o'clock, the market closes and uh, the overnight trading uh, begins for those stocks that trade over overnight. And then in the morning at 930, we start all over again and those prices would be different. We'll be right back. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. .com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back to Wall Street Money Hour. I am your host, Peter Bruno, and I hope uh, in my discussion prior to the break of trying to explain a strategy that I believe we should use within an overall downtrending market and, uh, and how to make money. Of course, isn't that the whole name of the game? Aren't we all 
trying to make money. And for 21 years, I was a money manager uh, owning an investment advisory firm. And I was doing a radio program called Managing Your Money as well uh, here in South Florida on Money Talk Radio. So the point is, is that uh, it's, it's not the excitement of placing a trade and losing money. It's the excitement of placing a trade and making money. So that's what we're trying to uh, do. And that's what we're trying to share with you uh, within this uh, Wall Street Money Hour uh, program. Now, the the key here, let's go through some of these stocks that we have, these oscillators. We mentioned Apple, okay, uh, Adobe, okay, it's down towards support. Uh, Amazon, and all these stocks, by the way, are, are at support levels. Uh, Best Buy, at support. Uh, Lowe's, at support. Dow Jones at support, uh, Microsoft at support, just started to move up from there. Uh, Netflix at support, the, the Qs are moving up from their key support. The S&P 500 moving up from this support and Visa moving up uh, from support. Now this kind of gives us an overview of what should it? What should we expect next? <laughs> what we should expect next is some kind of rally coming off of this uh, terrible down market that we've been having. It uh, was up earlier uh, overnight, and then suddenly, when Chairman Powell started speaking, uh, kind of fell apart. So the point is, is that uh, how do we invest in this type of, of dangerous market? Well, as I say, this is a daily chart, but we have. Uh, smaller time frame charts. And in these small time frame charts, we have other support and resistance levels as well. So I mentioned that Apple had support at 160, 167, 168. Okay, Adobe has support at, uh, currently it's at uh, 505, has support at uh, uh, 501. Uh, Amazon has support at uh, 121 uh, when it's now 128. So ideally, when placing buy orders, buy limit orders to buy these stocks during the day, we want to we want to uh, place the buy orders as close to the shorter term support level uh, that we have. Now, as we continue with this program and get a little bit more sophisticated from the basis concept that I'm trying to explain uh, at this point and on this inaugural program, uh, depending on the sophistication of the investor, uh, you, were, you would be able to, uh, for an example, if we said that uh, Amazon has support here at the, uh, 122, you would be able to sell a put option for a month from now, let's say, at 122. So if we're correct, and if the cycle is moving up, as the put option that was sold at a 122 strike price goes to the 125 or the 127, uh, the put option is going to decrease, allowing you to buy the put back at a lower price than what was sold. So there's a lot of sophisticated ways to use our analysis as well. But what I'm trying to do is not knowing the TFNN audience, you can have sophisticated traders as we see uh, in the uh, Discord, or you could have people that are just listening or watching, trying to learn uh, uh, the best way to invest without losing their money and so on. So I'm not sure, uh, I'm trying to appeal to both the novice investor and the sophisticated investor. Right now, I'm suggesting to review that the no matter what the investor is and whether you're investing for yourself or you're investing for your, your grandchildren's account or your, your daughter's account or your wife's account or your IRA account or some uh, other conservative account that you're not willing to uh, lose money uh, in that particular account, I'm suggesting a strategy of a tone in the water and a dollar cost averaging strategy of these stocks that I've just mentioned here 
on this uh, chart that we show that are oversold and should have the next step of moving up. Now, ideally, what you need to do is not just take a guess and buy at whatever the current price is. But the idea is to be able to understand and know what the short-term uh, support levels are. And if you know what the short-term support levels are, that's when you can place your orders, as we suggested, three orders to, to buy it at one price, uh, to buy at another price, and to buy at another price. Yeah, this is like uh, going fishing, okay? We don't know for sure if, all, if we're going to execute all three orders that we're suggesting. We just may execute one order at 21.33 and not at $21 even or 20.77. But as I said, whatever happened today wipes the state clean because tomorrow is a new is a new new day and new target numbers would be configured based on our style of, of analysis. So if we purchase one unit today, tomorrow we we can place another orders for another two or three units and at, at one point we're going to build a portfolio and when the cycles start to move up we'll be making money on the portfolio that that we hold now depending on the type of investor you are if you're a new investor or a longer term investor trying to build a portfolio then you would follow the the recommendations that we are suggesting. But if we happen to, uh, I, I think the, uh, 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 in one of our action alerts that we send out uh, based on the letter was to buy NVIDIA uh, at a certain price. And uh, when, when the NVIDIA moves up uh, five, six, seven points, a sophisticated tra trader uh, might say, hey, you know what, I, I own, 100 shares, I own 1,000 shares, I'm going to take my profit and go somewhere else. That's okay. It depends on the the type of investor you are. It depends on the type of trader you are. It depends on your, your, your knowledge of the securities business. And we're giving you this information uh, so that you can take advantage of it regardless of the uh, background and sophistication that, uh, that you have. Okay, we'll be right back after this short break. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. 
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. to Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And years ago, when I was doing the Managing Money radio program for 21 years on a South Florida Money Talk radio station, as a matter of fact, along with uh, Tom Bryan. <laughs> Tom O'Brien was on the same station. That's how we uh, knew each other. Uh, I remember my dad pointing out to me that you should tell your listening audience the stocks that you're buying because they would want to know what you like rather than you mentioning other stocks or answering their questions regarding the stocks that they're interested in. And that is fairly true because if a stock is good enough for me to buy, then it certainly should be good enough for the listening audience to buy, at least to, the, to my best effort of helping them uh, making money. So that idea created the Wall Street Money Letter, which is a newsletter that we write. Uh, it's not up on on, uh, on TFNN yet, but every Monday morning we'll be writing a market commentary based on where we think the market is going and uh, what our forecast would be for where where the market should be should be headed. In addition to the market commentary, we'll be giving a uh, similar that I showed before, a uh, um, a, a uh, mechanical showing the symbols of the stocks that we're interested in, what this long-term cycle is, the minimum upside target, the minimum downside target, short-term oversold, short-term overbought, and the trading strategy of what we recommend uh, for the subscriber at that uh, particular time. Now, the newsletter will be written and published uh, Monday morning before before the market opens. And what we would do over the weekend is go through our analysis looking for the similar stocks that we've posted here and telling you exactly if any of these stocks that are listed here uh, generated a buy signal, and if so, uh, what the price targets are that we suggest that you you buy. Now, in addition to that, we have what's called an action alert. And an action alert is, let's say I'm looking at the overall market on Monday morning or Monday mid-morning, and I see a stock that I think it's ready to move up. Uh, could be one of these stocks, it could be some other stock, well, if I, bought, if I decide to buy it within the Wall Street Money Letter uh, tracking account, I will immediately notify TFNN of what I'm doing. Here's a buy alert, an action alert to buy XYZ stock at this price that I purchased at and any additional information. Now, the subscriber has three choices. Choice number one, they can pick up the phone and call their broker and follow me 
and buy the stock at the price or around the same price that I had suggested. Or option number two is to say, you know what, I passed. I, I own enough of Apple. I own enough of Adobe. I know I own enough of Amazon. I don't need to own more shares. Fine. Or option number three is that they could ignore it and decide to track how well they would have performed if they did follow my advice. So that's the options that, that they have. Now, because I sent out an action alert uh, to subscribers, I'm obligated to tell the subscribers when that recommendation is sold, win, lose, or draw. Okay, so whatever I decide to sell, if it's something at a loss, I would have to notify the subscriber that we sold at a loss. If I'm selling at a gain or I decide to take profits, I would have to tell everyone I'm selling at this particular price. The same action alert that you got to buy or receive to buy, you would receive on the sell side of that recommendation. So what can be what can be fairer than that? And that's the Wall Street money letter that would be up on the uh, TFNN pretty soon. Okay, so on this uh, strategy that we discussed today, just to review, I had suggested that because we're in an overall down market for the major indices and most of the leading stocks are within these indices, that I suggest a tone of water in order to build a portfolio uh, within some of these key issues. You know, would, wouldn't it be a, a terrible thing if 20, 25 years ago, your grandchildren said to you, hey, Grandpa, did you ever buy Amazon? Did you ever buy Netflix? <laughs> did you ever buy uh, Microsoft? Uh, and if you can't answer an astounding yes, they would, want, <laughs> they would be wondering what's wrong with you. Did you think that these stocks were going to go out of, out of favor or, or out of business? So here's an opportunity to build a portfolio for a new type of investor with a toe in the water approach, adding to investments on a dollar cost averaging basis. And on a dollar cost averaging basis, hopefully in time, if our cycles are correct, you would be able to have a position that is well above the purchase price or the average purchase price that was was traded at that time. Okay, now, depending on the sophistication of the uh, subscriber or the, the investor, uh, you, would, uh, you would then know what the cycles are, you would then know the best way of, of uh, taking advantage of it. And by the way, I gave an example earlier about selling put options. Selling put options are the best way to use our overall cycle analysis. Okay? Because your receiving premium is very conservative. Worst case scenario is that you are assigned the stock or you own the stock. For example, if you said, you know, I really, I really love Apple. So I really want to buy Apple or I want Apple to be in my portfolio. So if we look at Apple, and it's in the recommendation, we suggest that Apple can get down to $168 from the current value of 172. If you were willing to own Apple at 168, well then what's the problem? You sell a put for some time in the future at the price of 168. Worst case scenario, it goes down to 168 or lower at that time. Worst case, you bought the stock at 168. You wanted to buy Apple anyway. So what, what was wrong with buying it at the price that you were willing to buy it at in the first place? So now you were assigned the stock, you own Apple at 168, and therefore uh, you own the stock. The problem with selling put options, however, as a warning, is that you have to have enough money in your account if you are assigned the stock. That's the best part of that. We we'll went back to this break.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Uh, welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is uh, Peter Bruno, your host. And before the break, we were talking about a strategy which works hand in glove with our oversold uh, cycles, and that is selling put options at a price that you're willing to buy that stock anyway at a particular price. So worst case scenario is that you'll be assigned a stock uh, that you uh, uh, that, that you sold the put option for. And the disadvantage of that is that you have to have enough money in your account in the event you were assigned that particular stock. So if you only sold uh, one put on Apple, uh, you would need uh, $1,730 in the account in the event that you were assigned that 100 shares of stock. Uh, 1,000 shares of stock, you would need uh, you know, a lot more money. So the fact is that that's the worst case scenario. The best case scenario is that our cycle analysis is correct and the stock starts moving up and the, the sale price of uh, that put option goes down, which means you can then cover uh, your, your sale at a buy price, which is lower than the sale price. You don't have to wait to the expiration date of the option 
whether, whether it be uh, the end of October, November, December, whatever, because you're making three, four, five, a hundred dollars, you're making 20, 30, 40, 50% on your money, uh, you can nail it and take your money down for that. Now, if you notice, I did mention selling put options. I did not mention anything about call options. And the reason for that is that 90% of the people that buy call options never get a chance to exercise their call option and they lose money. So no matter how enthusiastic people are, you wind up not achieving the success that you want. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining me today. And we'll see you tomorrow, same time. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien.